How's it going everybody? My name is Zero Matter here hosting the Zero Matter Experiment. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. Um, so the last vlog I did, if you could believe that, was when 2017 was kind of coming, uh, drawing near, I guess I should say. Uh, you know, and lots of things have changed since then. Uh, nothing really too heavy, don't want to like make this into like a, oh what was me sort of thing but uh, I think the changes were uh, imminent to say the least uh, you had a couple of bad fallouts here and there um, it is what it is I'm not putting blame on anybody and if I am to blame then you know what then so be it it's totally fine uh, but life kind of just takes a weird turn more or less uh, it's been a very rough uh, six months to say the least eight almost if you could believe that uh, I mean where I'm at now it's not too bad I guess um, moved in with my father uh, you know with my dog obviously he's running around here somewhere for a lot of obvious reasons uh, and just I'm kind of taking it in slowly as life kind of comes and goes for most of these things uh, yeah, so the last vlog I did, I think was round about uh, 2017 was kind of like the thing. And ever since then, uh, I'm sure if you've noticed, I might have been able to pick up a couple like tricks up my sleeve, if you will. Uh, I've been back into gaming. If you decided to really even browse the channel, I even do in all honesty. Uh, what's my, what's my goal for the, uh, the YouTube channel, uh, really, it's plain and simple. The only reason why I really uh, started to like really double down on the whole uh, gaming thing was because I kind of missed it, and there was a lot of times where I just wasn't able to play the games that I wanted to play. Uh, most of it is solo play, don't get me wrong, I love uh, community events, I love playing multiplayer games just as much as the next gamer. But uh, a lot of the stuff I kind of just had laying around, and if anything, if it's like generations, if you will, uh, I definitely didn't want to have the games just lying around, so I figured, you know, one of these days, or one of these weeks, or I always say it over and over, uh, I was going to get to it eventually, uh, and then eventually that just never came. Uh, work kind of had me really, really overworked and overbooked on a bunch of other events that I just couldn't get myself out of. Uh, a lot of responsibilities decided to come along the way. Uh, a lot of uh, tension kind of really picked up, more or less. Uh, it, it, you know, it kind of, it's kind of funny on how it worked, is because after, despite all the tension, despite all the uh, negative stuff that I've had to endure within the past uh, six months, more or less, um, it's kind of calm, more, uh, more or less. It's kind of weird, in all honesty. Like, I had to go, I had to bite my tongue down on all of that, uh, switching jobs, more or less, uh, more on that later, I bet, um, and just adapting to a new lifestyle that I haven't really been craving, uh, to say the least, uh, if you've seen all my other past videos, I've been doing it from, like, you know, my bedroom, which at that point really is my studio, in all honesty, I never felt the need to, uh, leave my room most of the time, uh, it's just because I got tired of doing a boatload of stuff. Um, it kind of weighs down on you event eventually. It, uh, a lot of self-conscious reasons, more or less. Um, I wasn't really pleased with, I guess, my stature, but I guess I'll go more in depth of that. Um, I'm not really pleased with, I wasn't anyway, I wasn't really pleased with who I was to say the least. I don't really say it that often, but it's because I try to not to, I try not to worry anyone for the most part. Um, it's just so, you know, no one else really worries me, uh, worries about me more or less. Uh, and if you don't worry about me, then, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's not your problem to deal with my personal stuff. Uh, just a lot of stuff is just way, it was weighing on my shoulders. And then eventually, I try to keep the peace as much as I can, because I hate drama just as much as the next person. And in all honesty, it kind of just crumbled to me in the end. So what I kind of just started doing 
was kind of just letting everything flow on its own. I really tried not to involve myself in a lot of like group activities, more or less. Um, I kind of sheltered myself a little bit. It's, I, I didn't know where I was going. Uh, I got out of college, but it was kind of like, oh man, I just really got out of college by like a very slim margin. Uh, and everyone at that point is like miles and miles ahead of me. And you know, at first, like I said, it doesn't bother me. Now it like kind of bothers me. But at the same time, I had, I had to face the facts. It's like this. And share this next advice for anyone that's kind of doesn't know where to go with college. You can go to college. You can go to community college. It doesn't matter. You can go to any college that you want. Or you can even go to one that's affordable. Because, reason being, you could end up like me. Kind of like what I am right now. I'm in a very uh, particular situation. This comes as a dream to most people these days that I don't have to pay any loans. Yeah, I said it. I don't have to pay any loans under any circumstances whatsoever to the best of my knowledge. I have not asked anybody for a loan or more or less I haven't asked the school for a loan. I haven't asked the bank for a loan to help me out with this and that, blah, 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 whatever you want. But that does not mean, I'll tell you guys right now, that does not mean I had a free ride the whole way. A lot of the work came, you know, on me. It was cemented the fact that I had to grow up really, really quickly. Did I enjoy it? Not really. But it got me to where I am today. I don't have to pay any student loans. That's probably a dream that almost, if you're watching this, half of you would love to have. But I'll tell you this right now. How did I do it? Easy, money out of pocket. That's all I what that's literally all that it was. Whatever I got help from, that was like, you know, what everyone kind of gets. The Pell Grants, uh, any scholarships, which I had none, by the way, surprisingly. It's okay. It's you know, it's not the end of the world for me. So I had to find a way to keep going. Um Let's see. I had a, I had a whole plan going and uh et cetera, et cetera. I worked whatever job that I had. Uh, it wasn't easy, obviously. But the thing I didn't understand was that everyone kind of just, they went for the help, more or less, but like they, you get screwed over in the end. So I said, I, I didn't want to owe anybody any money for the most part. So uh, all that money that is, you know, uh, asked for at the beginning of a semester, I had to put it up front. And obviously that wasn't cheap. So if they ask for like X amount of thousand, for example, uh, you either had to pay all that up front, which I did the first time, if you could believe that, which was a lot of money. Like I said, you gotta learn how to work your hours at the job that you have. And it wasn't anything fancy. I think I was working a fast food joint, to be honest. But I put in a lot of hours, because I was 18 and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, after a while, I just started doing the payment plan, which, you know, it kind of eased the tension a little more. And then some other things just came along the way. And, uh, you know, I, I managed, basically. I managed. Uh, it definitely wasn't easy. It was very stressful, uh, especially commuting between um, different uh, campuses. Uh, and if you're wondering what I was doing, I'm doing graphic design. So any of the work you usually see me post, I normally tend to credit. Uh, normally, if I don't credit, it's because it's probably my work or it's some type of funny joke between me and my friends, etc., etc. Um, yeah, I can say what I got out of college was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, I got my associates in graphic design. Yay, congrats to me. Um, a lot of people are already into their bachelors, are already into their masters, and are already like miles ahead of me. And you know what? For you guys, that's good for you. I, I'm i happy to see that you guys are succeeding uh, at the stuff that you wanted. And some people, they still need time to find themselves, man. So, you know, hear me out. You know, listen to this video. If you gotta share this with people uh, that don't know where to go, just come, you know, share this, do whatever the hell you want. Um, I'm not obviously forcing you to do it. That's why I, I guess that kind of ties into the next thing. Um, in terms of me, telling you guys what to do with the videos that I post. I don't. Uh, normally, I just 
I kind of announce it. You know what I mean? Um, as far as far as a, a growing fan base goes, uh, I'm way late into the game. But at the same time, I wanted to do it my way. I would, I didn't want to go the way that everyone else kind of does it, where they kind of just like really force it upon you, like they kind of almost guilt uh, trip you into doing it. Uh, so I don't really like that aspect. Uh, I'm surprised I'm even doing this. I mean, another thing I really don't like is really showing my face, or at least in pictures. Uh, I guess in video, it's kind of different. Uh, you can kind of see my facial reactions when I, you know, play silly games or play scary games, whatever it is. Um, I don't really crave attention that way. I just announce it, and if you happen to see it, then you see it. And if it interests you, then by all means, go right ahead. And, you know, feel free to watch me do my crazy shenanigans that I do on the weekly, almost. Uh, and if not, then, you know, I'm not going to hound you for you know, hit the subscribe button or hit the like button or yo guys, check out my picture, check out my page. I don't hound anybody for doing that at all. I really don't. But yeah, I don't really hound anybody for any of the stuff that I do. Uh, getting back into where it kind of took off for me to be somewhat serious about YouTube. I'm obviously not the biggest thing coming to YouTube anytime soon. I'm not going to be... 1 million subscribers by the end of this video. I'm not going to be 10 million subscribers by the end of the day, more or less. Uh, I'm just your average gamer guy. And in all honesty, uh, that's something that I wanted to do because I'm also noticing that it's kind of a trend. You guys usually see me play games, silly, poor, scary, whatever. Um, but you probably don't know how I usually am like behind the scenes. And I could tell you this right now. Um, I'm sure I speak for most when I say that half the stuff I play isn't really planned. Half the stuff I say also isn't really planned. I never have a prompt like in front of me to uh, say what I have to say next. It's all on the fly. Um, because I thought it was just, it wasn't me that you guys would be watching. You'd be some, you guys would be watching something that isn't me. You guys wouldn't see the real me more or less. But uh, rest assured, if you've really been wondering, um, I am how I am with gaming. Uh, everything, you usually see me there uh, because I'm alone, obviously. Uh, that's usually how I am playing a game. It's plain and simple. I, I'm not sugarcoating it. That's literally how I play. Uh, it's not even for an act, and I'm not even telling you to uh, get it off and say like, oh, maybe he is acting or he's being gen. No, that is legit me being me much like I've done with all the other vlogs, much of like I've done with all the other past video projects. It's just me being me. Um, how I came about to uh, doing games now is kind of a funny story. Um, my old busted laptop is gone for good. It's, it's a brick now, all right? I had a good amount of years with that laptop. Uh, I got it all the way through college, uh, which was a fun time. I got to meet some very interesting friends. I still like them to this day, even if they don't even decide to talk to me for whatever reason. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I appreciate everything uh, that has come from the graphic design crew over there at Suffolk. So I guess for shock value, I guess I'll have to do it or whatever. So to Mike, Jess, C, if you will, or Sam, uh, let's see, Julius, uh, Ben, uh, other Sam, I guess, and Sarah, and you know, all you guys uh, from the graphic designing aspect crew from way back when. Uh, if you even decide to watch this, and it's going to be totally embarrassing for me to say, but you guys were probably one of the coolest friends I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm kind of glad that I got to spend my time in college with you guys, because I'm not going to lie, I don't know how I would have managed if I didn't talk to anybody. Uh, especially, you know, going through the whole period of me being completely alone. Uh, I didn't even know I was going to know anybody way out in the Eastern Campus. So I just want to say thanks a lot, guys. You kind of made my life a whole lot easier when I got to know you. Whether I said some stupid things here and there where I was just sitting there quiet like a total dumbass. I enjoyed every second I had uh, spending time with you guys, hanging out with you guys, whenever we could. It was totally fine. Um, moving on from that now. Um... My laptop bricked, it's totally done. 
Um, so Generations, again, was nice enough to give me her old laptop that didn't really see the light of day for whatever reason. Um, and cause she wanted a much smaller condensed laptop for whatever reason. Uh, so I, I managed to pick this up and I noticed that it had Windows 10, uh, which is what everyone's kind of rolling around with these days. So uh, I noticed that it could kind of stream the Xbox game more or less, just like they said uh, at many E3s ago or in the demo press conference, whatever. Uh, so then I realized that like I could play it um, without having the TV on, et cetera, et cetera. That got me thinking that, you know, what if I decided to start recording some gameplay because now I have the opportunity to do so. I was still missing an Elgato capture card. Come a couple months later down the line, I managed to get my hands on one. So I had everything at my disposal. Now it just took me to learning how to actually like record it more or less. So thanks to OBS and whatnot, I managed to get that down perfectly. But now how do I make it funny so you guys can watch it? How do I make it enjoyable for you guys to watch it? Well, well I had to learn a brand new program called Adobe Premiere Pro, if you will. If you know what that is, then good for you. Me, I didn't know. Also take into consideration that I was coming out of a, a hiatus from graphic design ever since I kind of graduated. Uh, I did what I could to kind of get myself you know, buy uh, whatever projects I could, but you know, my laptop was only able to do so much at the time. Then I got the new laptop, then I started getting some serious work done. So that's why I ended up doing some stuff for Redbubble, um, which like I said, you guys can go check it out. You're not obligated to at all. Um, uh, so now that I learned the program down, I realized that, oh, I can actually make a pretty decent YouTube video, if you will. Um, so I managed to learn the program down and basically now this show, whatever it is that I'm doing is kind of a one man show, if you really haven't noticed. So what I mean by that was that at one point or another, this was kind of like a quartet sort of thing. Um, I guess to make the long story short, everyone had different plans but uh, they didn't know where to exactly like culminate them into their thoughts. So they were kind of confused at times. So I took it upon myself to kind of be like their manager for just a teeny bit for whatever it was worth in all honesty. Uh, I guess whether I gave the best advice or not, it was more just like, I felt like I was doing something rather than just saying, I have a channel, come check it out. Most of the time anyway, it was pretty much promoting the other uh, the other group members at the time, obviously, and uh, not really much myself because I, that's not what I wanted. My my uh, envision for what is it I want to do doesn't actually really involve me in all honesty. It's more of just me getting the word out that these people exist. Uh, whether or not it worked, I did what I could to uh, on my end and I just, I tried not to overdo it then that's where it kind of started taking a weird turn. So they, uh, it kind of felt, my idea kind of fell apart on its own because there wasn't really any support. Uh, because from time to time, uh, people had their own ideas and they went ahead and did it anyway. Again, totally fine. I'm not saying don't do this and don't do that. It's more like I also gave suggestions and like it started like just decreasing the uh, acceptability rate none of my suggestions really went through at all. So at that point, I kind of was just, you know what, go ahead, do whatever you want. Um, I'll still help you get the word out, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, Fast forward later on, uh, the crumble of the channel, more or less. Then I kind of had to start doing things on my own a little bit. So uh, I ended up doing some vlogs here and there. Nothing monumental, obviously. Nothing to that extent at all. I was never gonna be, you know, gonna do inspirational quotes like you see all these other memes these days. I wasn't like that. Uh, whenever I felt the need to kind of just rant on, kind of just went into effect more or less. Because these days people will kind of just rather watch a video of people rambling about some nonsense or you could have the minuscule amount that would actually read what it is that I would post whenever I can. But let's be honest, more or less these days uh, I kind of came off as annoying. I can accept that. That's totally fine. If you thought I was annoying in the beginning, then you know what? I apologize. But at the same time too, you like I continuously tell you this keeps in. I keep, I continuously tell you guys this. You are not obligated in any way, shape or form 
to view the stuff that I post, to much less read. You can literally just skip over it, I, and I really don't care. Um, and as far as not really caring goes, I guess it kind of goes into this next part. Um, I kind of overdid it on the whole not caring thing. Um, work really kind of just bummed me down by a whole lot. And eventually uh, I started seeing some very old past friends from like, you know, elementary and high school. Uh, they were, um, they were kind of living their life. Hell, a lot of them are probably married now and have their like, I don't know, maybe fifth girlfriend, but like they're secure on that. Uh, all I can say is, you know what? Good on you guys. Cause I'm nowhere near that at all. Uh, I don't really plan on any, being anywhere near that because uh, I may, I'm pretty sure I failed them as a friend. Again, I can totally, I can take a hint. It's not, it's not something new. Uh, I'm not the best at what it is that I do. Uh, I kind of, I'm more or less just the quiet one that kind of just sits there. So if I was kind of just there just to be there, then you know what? I'm a background person. I, I don't really care. Um, so they're out being successful. They're out doing their job. They're out doing their thing. They're out having fun. Who am I to stop them, right? Uh... And then it kind of just came down to me once again. So once you had the entertainment life pin me down by myself, and then you had the personal life pin me down by myself, I was kind of a shell of my former self. A lot of people didn't really see me as outgoing. Some people even questioned me if I was even okay. And I'll be real honest with you. I kind of just told them, yeah, I was fine. And it's, again, it's just so that I don't worry anybody. Everyone kind of just worried about me. And at that point, it's... You don't have to worry about it. You guys have a you guys have your own life to live in all honesty. Although I do appreciate all the ones that have stuck around, that have asked me if I was okay, uh, how my life is going. Um, you guys, I'm surprised you managed to put up with me for this far. Um, so, with that being said, uh, I guess I can just go into the better half of this video. So I'm pretty sure what you guys want to hear. So. If you enjoyed more of that, um, you can just leave a comment. However, if you want to know a little more about me, give me some topics to discuss. Uh, maybe I'll make another vlog here and there, but it's not going to be like my go-to thing. Like I enjoy doing these projects uh, because of Adobe Premiere. It kind of got me back into thinking, oh, I should really hammer on the whole graphic designing aspect. So with that being said, we're getting into the games section just for you guys. Um, as far as the games are going to go, um, I'm still playing what it is that I normally play, games that have just been sitting on the shelf for a while now. Uh, E3 is around the corner, so I can't wait to see uh, what exciting games are going to come out of that. Personally, my favorite uh, coming out of that is going to be Anthem, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's it for now. I mean, you know, it's all impromptu stuff, it, so don't quote me on that. It's totally fine, however the hell you want. I don't really care how you go about it. But Anthem is probably my top pick for the next... Uh, year of gaming um and i do plan on doing another uh game soon two games actually it's going to be inside which you saw me do the first episode a while ago somewhere over here and then state of decay 2 that one's probably going to be a, a very uh interesting mashup between single and multiplayer so with games that i've done you see me i'll be by myself then you have the next section that i'm going to be dubbing fam games somewhere um, that is with uh, Diglett Danny, uh, GG Generations, and of course, Alitronic, whenever she decides to come by and not hounding people to do this. But basically, it's like this. Um, this is just my personal advice. This could be totally wrong. Um, fam games for me is just me and my friends who I consider the family now. And I don't boss them around. I, it's totally it's free of speech uh, they can do whatever heck whatever the heck they want I think the ironic thing here is that uh, what I normally see is that people try to fight for unity and they try to fight for uh, let's see who would take the spot the ironic thing here is is that we all kind of come to a consensus and actually just do it ourselves without me having to instruct anybody to do anything so that's a major plus for me uh, if you want to go ahead and do it with your friends just like I said don't boss them around all right don't boss them around and don't be that annoying person that literally just takes the joke and just jams it into the dirt uncontrollably. So that's my advice on that. I don't even have to tell these guys that because they're kind of just, they're fine the way they are. And quite, quite frankly, like, I, what, what am I? Who am I, who am I to boss them around? It's, uh, it's a group effort. I'm not saying do this, do this, and this, you know? 
Um, they are who they are. I don't control that. And they can be however weird they want to be. And that's just how my friends are. Uh, for the second half is going to be called the three amigos with like a silent P. More on that later. Um, so that one's going to be between me and what I consider my blood brothers. Uh, obviously, when you look at uh, the pictures of us, clearly we're not anywhere related, but we are all triplets. So because it's a long story, just we're all blood brothers at this point, no matter what. So at that point, you're going to have Blitzkrieg and CJ Hardy. I'm going to use their code names so that way no one really goes and hunts them down or whatever. Um, they're going to be on their own separate thing. I already started one with uh, Blitzkrieg. Uh, we're doing uh, the game called A Way Out or something like that. So I'm going to, I'll probably have to revise this again, but I'm, I'm going to lay down right here. I'm not really editing that one as heavy as I should be, and I'll tell you why. It just falls down to the same rule like I did with uh, my friends here. I'm obviously in a different location at his house. I'm not gonna go there let's, and say, hey, let's start recording and literally take command of the kid's, uh, you know, uh, den or man cave, I guess, because it's, it's his. Who am I to say, oh yeah, can you turn down the volume? Yo, can you speak louder? This, no, it is what it is. Um, I'll say this right now, it may be a little annoying, but the thing I enjoyed is that me and my brother, more or less, uh, we played a game the way we normally would play a game, like we did way back in the day, and that was probably the best thing I could ask for uh, in terms of playing a video game with him, because we never really see each other that much anymore, you know, work schedule, etc, etc. Um, and of course, speaking of work, um, I'm working somewhere close to home, um, I won't do I won't dive on too much of that because no one really cares, obviously. I understand that. So I'm working close to home, so at least that gives me more time to uh, access the games that I want to play and, you know, record the stuff that I want to show you guys, I guess. Um, I guess on the last bit of uh, impromptu news is that uh, I'm kind of uh, refurbishing my, uh, my art style, I guess. Uh, I didn't know where to go, but at the same time, I don't want to go around copying anyone else's art style, more or less. So I got some good advice, not too, uh, literally last night actually, before I decided to make this video, uh, that uh, he didn't know what he was doing, but he kind of just went with it. And I said, I should probably do that. My problem personally is that I have a hard time drawing uh, features of a face, if you will. And normally I really just draw like circles and squares and call it, oh, that's my comic strip. But uh, nowadays it's like, I'm kind of itching for that next part. I guess till I kind of grow. So I found I found some key elements, if you will, that uh, will kind of help me get started back on the right track. And uh, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. Clearly, like I said, I'm not claiming to be the best, and I'm not claiming to be the next monumental thing. But what I can say is that here I am. I've made it on my own, like with a question mark. Yeah, I've made it on my own. Am I comfortable where I'm at? Yes, I am actually because I'm living a very less stressful lifestyle than what I was before. Uh, I'm able to breathe. I'm able to do the things that I wanted to do in my fashion. I get to share some of the uh, intense moments with friends and family, obviously. Um, and I'm, we're kind of just having a good time most of the time. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it in all honesty. Yeah, so I enjoy talking to the audience. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, you can drop a comment, do whatever the heck you want, poke fun here and there, make fun of me. I don't really care one way or the other. Um, the interaction is key. Um, obviously, if you ask me a question, chances are I will most likely respond. Um, and other than that, I'm just here to have fun like everyone else. Wow, who would have guessed I actually decided to really go about actually making this little update video that well, I'm pretty sure is going to take forever to edit because I am the worst at literally having a schedule. So last but not least, I guess the schedule is in order. So however I decide to put these all together, make a note here, this is going to be the coming schedule on how I uh, go about doing uh, some videos. Most of the time, and I'll say this, most of the time, because life happens, obviously. Most of the time, I usually try to work on videos round about Monday, Tuesday. 
mainly because again, since this is kind of a one man show, uh, it gets a little crazy. And you know, I could use a break every now and again, because editing a lot of the pictures is very time consuming, even for a graphic designer. I don't care how fast you are. You want everything down, right down to the T, yes or no. As far as editing video goes, that is a very painful process for anyone that has actually done it. So I understand your pain. I hope you understand my pain. That, that these days I try to get videos out. It's not cemented, but if it ever does, this is the uh, what I'm kind of aiming for. The following days are kind of usually the days that I try to put out at least one video and in any order, it doesn't matter. Either go for Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I figured those days because maybe you're bored, right? I mean, you may be bored during dinner. You may be bored at work on break. Uh, and I try to get them out maybe around like, if I can, my hours that I choose to depending on how I'm feeling between 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and maybe 5 p.m. I usually try not to do anything later than that, mainly because maybe everyone's sleeping or no one really gives a crap at that hour. It, that's totally fine. It, uh, you know, it's totally fine. Um, Eastern time, my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, usually those days. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are usually the days that I try to aim to get a video out. Uh, and if I happen to miss a week, you can rest, you can literally rest assured that I will literally do whatever I can to try and get it out by next week. And sometimes I might even throw in a random surprise uh, as far as my last group of videos go. Uh, to know a little more about me, if you will, you guys should check out the um, Lost Episodes segment. What that is, uh, is a bunch of recordings that I've done over the years where I just decided to film life, if you will. Um, nothing scripted, obviously. It's just, I came across a lot of videos from back in the day and uh, it really reflects how much I have uh, changed since then. Yeah, I'll say it. Uh, how much I've changed and how much I've, how, uh, I've come such a long way since then. Um, Changing for the better, definitely not. I can say I can tell you that right now. I'm being genuinely honest. Um, I became more of uh, just a shy person, in all honesty, because a lot of the videos that I had were uh, group activities, and a lot of the stuff is just memories that I kind of don't want to fade away. Plain and simple. Now, a lot of the stuff you will see are just memories that I shared with whoever the hell I was hanging out with, um, in no particular order. So the reason why I call them lost episodes is because they're just stuff that I found lying around before uh, I decided to really scrap my very old, old dinosaur of a desktop before we got to the new one. And before I pulled the plug on that, I said, wait, there's videos here that I kind of wanted to keep for future uh, references. And really what lost episodes is going to be, what it's going to be, is uh, it's going to be a like a time capsule of videos of stuff way back in the day. Hell, uh, believe it or not, my 10 year anniversary for being on YouTube, if you will, is gonna come this November. Whether I decide to do a video on that, no one really knows for sure. I was kind of planning on it to like, you know, kind of just, it pays homage to like, you know, where I started, where the internet started for me anyway. But uh, yeah, lost videos or lost episodes, I should say, is gonna be a time capsule of events that have been going through my life that it's just, it's just memories now. I just have to live it as it is, uh, knowing that I used to do that. And you know what? Uh, and just accept the fact that I grew up way too fast. There's a lot of responsibilities that I can't really share, obviously with everybody, because it's hard for people to understand that you have to really sacrifice a lot to kind of just get by. Some people got it and some people didn't. That's totally fine. Um, but I've had to sacrifice a lot of my time as a kid to do certain things to make it to ends meet, I guess. And mainly because to please the parents because my parents are pretty stubborn like that. So with the responsibilities came a lot of sacrifices and it just came down to the fact that, listen, in order to keep one piece, I had to let go of a bunch of things just so I could stay sane 
for the most part. Luckily for me, I decided to be smart about it as a kid and just record everything. So a lot of the stuff I literally did, I uh, didn't even record with my camera. I recorded with like my very first uh, cell phone, if you will, uh, that was able to record. And then I sent it to myself on email and then I said, hey, I have a great idea. I can just record this and send it to myself for future uh, videos and whatnot. And uh, a lot of the stuff is, is very, it's like raw, I guess you will. It's, again, it's just, you'll see me the way I was back in the day and that's all it, that's all it ever will be. So uh, I hope you guys check it out because for me, it's gonna be a bit of a journey to see where the world is now. Uh, so I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm sure I'll do my best to clean up whatever the hell I just said and see if it makes any sense in the end. So I hope you guys stuck around for the whole video. Uh, if you guys need me to like refresh, do another thing, uh, talk about something specific, um, hey, just let me know and I'm sure I'll find time to do it. Um, anyone that needs advice on something, you can hit me up and I'm sure I'll be able to talk, not some sense, but some knowledge from where I'm coming from, at least. Um, my last bit of advice is that don't follow everyone else. Just be you and don't worry about where you're standing now. It's not a race. Be whoever you want to be. And that's pretty much it. It's not a race in the end. You'll make it there. So, I guess that's it. And I am out of here. That's a reference to another show. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog session. Uh, I hope it wasn't too much out of your time to really, uh, you know, just kind of dive into... Uh, a little bit about me since I haven't done it in a while. So, until then, on the next episode, my name is Zero Matter here, hosting the Zero Matter Experiment, and I'll see you all on the next whatever it is that I decide to do. Later.